YouTube! It's me! Wonder why the difference? Well, I've been drinking. Um, sorry, YouTube. If you find that demonetizable, go ahead. Not like I'm making much money, anyways. Yes, hello! Hi! What is the topic for this video? Well, we're gonna start it off with something that really hurt me. Something I read. So, basically, we have introverts, right? Right? And I'm an introvert. And I see people like, sometimes, an overly excitable extrovert can be the best thing for an introvert. Because they'll be like, because introverts do like to socialize. So they'll be like, hey, let's talk. And the introvert is like, and eventually, they'll break through the shell. Unfortunately, for you people thinking that, and the people who decide, hey, I know, I'm going to let my shell be broken. Um, you're not a true introvert. You're not a true introvert. And if you are, well, I don't know what happened. Apparently, you got lost. Because, ah, uh, when you're really an introvert, people like that, people who don't respect your space, who continuously get in your face, talk to you endlessly, and try to break the ice, and basically try to be like, hey, let's be friends. They don't understand how introverts work. Introverts go slowly. They don't want to be rushed. They want to take their time, move at their own pace, and basically decide, hey, I've decided you're worth my time. If they don't, well, guess what? They've decided you're annoying because you don't know how to pace yourself. Sure, an introvert may sometimes reach out first and say, hey, let's play on something. But here's the thing. Uh, I'm not speaking for all introverts, but I'm speaking for myself and a lot of the stupid introverts out there, I guess. Um, when they say, let's play on something, it probably means let's spend six to eight months getting to know each other. And then if I decide, you're worth my time, then we will do something. Because introverts, they have a social battery, and some have one that's smaller than the others. Maybe about five hours maximum of socialization until they decide, all humans are stupid, I want to go hide in a hole and never come out again. So, basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, um, if you see an introvert, and you decide to go up to them and go, hey, buddy, let's have a good time. There's a 100% chance of them punching you in the face. If they don't, well, you're lucky. Maybe they find you endearing. I wouldn't. I would be like, why are you ruining my private time? I'm trying to not destroy the human race. So, essentially, basically, stop that. Now, from introverts onto collaborations between YouTubers and VTubers, let's chat, shall we? Awesome. Beautiful. So I've seen a lot of VTubers and YouTubers alike saying, hey, let's collab. Let's work together. And this is forgetting the introvert thing. It's basically, we can't progress our career unless we network with each other, which is small. Networking is never bad. However, if you're going to have someone in... Every single one of your videos, or streams, whatever, I'm not judging. Um, how is your community supposed to get to know you for you? Because they'll only know the persona you put forth with collaborating with other people. Now, if it is a consistent collab, where it's just a partner that you work with all the time, like Game Grumps or whatever, that's fine. That's the draw of your channel. Gaming dudes, gaming buddies, whatever. But if it's a different person each and every time, how are they supposed to get to know who you are? Especially if you're marketing yourself as a solo VTuber or YouTuber, what have you. That is on the be-all, end-all of the fucking world. Okay, if you don't know, if you don't learn how to stand for yourself, to be charismatic by yourself, to stand on your own, then one day, when the collaborations dry up, no one's going to care about your solo content. They want the collaboration shit. You've damn near dug yourself into a hole. So here's my advice to you. If you love collabs that much, 
Make it clear. Make it, this is a collaboration chat. Every video there's a new guest. It's what I stand for. It's my niche. My, my bread and butter. Okay? Because I've seen a lot of people who don't market that. And one day, it's going to bite them in the ass. And basically, I'm venting this because I'm frustrated. Because when I was on Twitter, because I'm going to stop using Twitter, because it's an abominationable website. And I refuse to call it X. Whoever calls that, that's all. But anyways, um, the reason why collaborations annoy me to an extent is because on the Twitters, it was a big thing in the VTuber community, which I am no longer a part of, thank goodness, um, that you had to collaborate. And it was always so annoying because they'd be like, drop your socials down below and I'll follow you and I'll raid you or we'll collaborate. And then you do that and then they do nothing. They don't even talk to you. They don't even follow you half the time. They just... Take the numbers, thank you for coming to my follower. Well, guess what, Twitter fucker? 10,000 Twitter followers does not equate to followers on Twitch or subscribers on YouTube. You're just a talking machine on Twitter. You're not important, okay? Let me, let me make this clear. V-tweeters are important. pre debut for 17 years is not important. Make content and then people will give a shit, okay? So... Stop fishing for follower numbers. Stop fishing for friggin' collaborations that will never fucking happen. And stop tricking new VTubers into thinking you give a shit about them. Seriously. I've seen this happen so many times. Big YouTubers. Pulling all small VTubers, I wish to support them. And then they interact with you. And then you, you follow them, maybe. If they're lucky, and then you do nothing. You do absolutely nothing. You ghost them. But here's the thing a lot of those smaller VTubers do that because they're actually trying to make content and grow as a creator. And if you go to their socials, you know, their YouTubers or Twitch, they are bigger than you. That's the ironic part. I saw someone, they had like 20,000 uh, Twitter followers, right? And okay, so. I decided, all right, well, I'll check them out. And their Twitch has 50 followers. Their YouTube has like 10 subscribers. I have 2,100 subscribers on YouTube. 400 followers on Twitter because I don't give a shit about that platform and I don't put my time into it because it means nothing. So in that end, I'm the bigger creator. Twitter does not mean anything stop putting stock in twitter i'm tired of people putting stock in twitter your followers on there do not matter i mean they matter as people i'm not putting them down but then again like 80 percent of them are bots anyways commissions i'm gonna pop into your dm hey do you want a commission uh, i'm not interested actually Ah, uh, that's okay do you want to see my before for the before portfolio and i'm like no i actually don't and they're like you want to see it anyways i really could use the cash fuck off uh but yes basically unless you have a high following number on youtube or twitch or whatever site you use your inflated numbers on twitter just means you spend a lot of time tweeting okay not exactly something to brag about unless you're an artist, in which case you get a pass. All right. First two rants done. What is the final rant? Well, 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 well. Uh, the VTuber community itself. Oh, what a travesty that goddamn community is. It is an abomination. It's, it's, it's downright diabolical how awful it is especially to new creators because it's so toxic it's so bad like you cannot get a foothold there and unless you're in a clique or you know somebody who's a little important you gotta make it on your own especially if you're a youtube vtuber oh my god like if you're twitch sure you can get people to radio it's easy enough on youtube good fucking luck 
you reach a thousand subscribers, no one gives a shit. Two thousand subscribers, no one gives a shit, especially on Twitter, where Twitch is the only thing that apparently matters. And you get YouTube partner. Well, that doesn't matter. Twitch affiliate is more important, even though it's far easier to get. So, <laughs> maybe this is just my personal fucking experience, but uh, the VTuber community is a toxic hellhole full of clicks and stuff. And I mean the VTuber community as in the community. Not the VTubers themselves. That's different. I love Undertale. The community is ass. So, yes. Am I okay in the future interacting with potential VTubers? Absolutely. Will it be soon? No, I need time to get to know these people. It won't be off the bat. I'm introverted, as we touched upon before. It takes me a little to get used to someone. Months even. I'm very socially backwards. But that aside, that fucking aside, right? I've dropped so many F-bombs that YouTube's gonna not even demonetize. They're like, get this fucking troglodyte off the website entirely. Just throw him into the trash. Yeet him into the stratosphere. We do not need this abomination. And I'm like, you like Sniper Wolf on this site, and she's an abomination. And they're like, okay, that's fair. You know what, Karen? Gotta say. But, uh, yes. Basically, you might see him, you might not. I'm just gonna continue doing commentary shit like this. This video wasn't even gonna be a thing until I drank a lot and was like, ah, oh, confidence. And, I, and I'm also alone in the house, so I can scream as loud as I want, which is my preferred type of content. Um, cause uh, it's, I'm passionate. And usually I'm stuck talking like this because I don't wanna, you know, uh, annoy anyone and I don't have soundproofing in my room. <laughs> right now, I am untapped, unsealed, my potential is unleashed. The beast within is writhing in agony. So, ha <laughs> um, what can you look forward to on this channel? Well, Sober Me may disagree, but Sober Me is a bit of a dick, so fuck him. Okay, um, here's the plans. More commentary, might do a bit of Toho, who knows, or as a uncultured swines call it a little bit of too who but uh yes i'm up to that if i feel like it might not might do a gaming stream even though i hate gaming who knows anything is possible the world is my oyster i'll do whatever i goddamn want okay and i've realized that now using a thumbnail and using this just using my random still it it gets attention because people are like that is from that channel that I definitely know. Instead of a random ass thumbnail, they're like, who the hell is that? Thumbnails? Uh, who needs them? The age of thumbnails, unless you're a Mr. I should just start putting Mr. Beast's face in my thumbnail. Just him going, ah! And then the algorithm will like, ah! Clearly, he is a channel worth noticing. But I'm kidding, it's already noticing me. I usually get, I sometimes get videos over a thousand views. I'm getting there. I'm building it up. So yeah. Thank you very much for coming to my unhinged rant. Um, and I'll be seeing you all next time. But first, wait, there's one more thing I need to say. One more. Do you prefer big booba VTubers or little small petite VTubers? Um, because I have both models. Um, and the reason why I'm saying is because even though I'm officially not a VTuber anymore, he gags. I will be using a model occasionally when I fucking feel like it. Um, I know you guys like my custom model, which won't be the, the mascot until I redesign it because I want to. Um, so, yeah. Who knows what will happen? I don't even know if you guys watch this long because apparently an average watch the rate has plummeted into the goddamn earth. Because it used to be a oh, minute and 36 seconds, but now it's like 30 seconds because you guys have the attention span of a goddamn goldfish. Watch a little longer. It's not very hard. Please. So I'm asking you, like this? Like this video? Comment down below if you like this shit and subscribe so I can own you for eternity. And also join my membership because I need your money. Bye-bye.